folks, there is a double standard in this whole sexual harassment, sexual assault era that we're living in, unfortunately. You know what I find funny? MSNBC's Morning Joe Show, which is one of the worst morning shows in America. Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski had the audacity to call the GOP the party of pedophiles. That was an actual thing. And, yeah, we have these allegations against Roy Moore. And these allegations against, uh, well, I guess, I guess with Joe Barton, there's a, 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 a clear-cut smoking gun. But all these people saying that Joe Barton should resign and Roy Moore should drop out. Should Barton resign? Yeah. Yeah, he should resign. But if you're asking, folks, for Joe Barton should re to, that, that that Barton should resign, then show, so should John Connors, so should Al Franken. If you're sitting there ripping Moore and saying Moore should be nowhere near an election, and Barton should resign, but Conyers and Franken, there's just nothing going on. You're not saying they that they should resign. That's a double standard. And that's not only the left. I think the left is, there's more, the, the left has more double standards. But there's double standards on the right as well. And speaking of double standards, folks, you know, when this Access Hollywood tape came out of the president talking like an asshole, not admitting to anything or whatever, but talking like an asshole, there was a whole march for women which is all well and good um was there a march for women and march against sexual assault when the Harvey Weinstein allegations were out what about when um, Al Franken just got caught groping somebody Al Franken a Democratic senator was there any any protests or marches, women's marches, any women's group coming out and saying anything. What about when Kevin Spacey, Hollywood liberal, was caught doing stuff? Or Charlie Rose? Anything, any women's groups marching? No. Just goes to show you, um, SNL writers were trying to say that Al Franken is a great man and he shouldn't resign. Get the fuck out of here. Why? Because SNL is so pro-liberal and Franken fits their agenda. These women are probably the first people that were in there marching against Donald Trump because he spoke like an asshole and said women like to be grabbed by the pussy. There's clear-cut evidence in a photo of Al Franken groping somebody, and Al Franken has admitted to it. Oh, he's a great guy. He shouldn't resign because Franken's a Democrat. And that's what bothers me. And there's, there's people that think that Franken should go, but they're not saying anything about, about the Roy Moore allegations. Do I think that we should hold off a little bit on Roy Moore? Listen. There are disturbing allegations. Disturbing. I need more proof. I need clear-cut evidence on Roy Moore. Joe Barton, there's a tape, there's everything, he's, he, he's admitted to it. No, you gotta go. Barton's gotta go. Franken's gotta go. Conyers gotta go. Roy Moore. My thing is this. In this day and age. We live in a day and age where all you have to do really is say the word sexual assault. And it could be a, a true allegation or a false allegation. And I think before these things become public, 
there should be clear-cut evidence. Because if Roy Moore is indeed innocent, and he could be, he could not be. But if Roy Moore is innocent, this is very disturbing that this was made up. Now, maybe there's one allegation that's true. The rest of them are false. Maybe two of them. Maybe whatever. But any time an allegation comes out against anybody, a Republican, a Democrat, any high-profile person in, in, in the mainstream public, there has to be some evidence first. Because then you just have a he said, she said, and you have a situation like Roy Moore. Should he step down? Well, the allegations are pretty fucked up. But is there clear-cut evidence? There's evidence with Franken. There's evidence with all these Democrats. A lot of the Democrats have admitted it. I mean, look at Bill Clinton. He preyed on an intern. He was president for eight years. He served two terms. My thing is this. If you're going to call for Barton to resign, if you're going to call for, for Moore's head on a silver platter, you have to be calling for the resignation of John Conyers and Al Franken. And if you're not, then kindly shut the fuck up and go away. Because you're a left-wing hypocrite. If, if, you're not saying anything about Barton, and you haven't mentioned a word about Roy Moore, even brought up the allegations, but you're saying Franken and Conyers should resign, shut the fuck up and sit in the corner, you're a right-wing hypocrite. They all have to go. If you're in Congress and you sexually assault someone, they gotta go. And I think Giffords said something about people in Congress have sexually assaulted her or, or somebody else, but she won't name names. Guarantee you, because they're Democratic congressmen or senators. If it was a, a if, if if it was Republicans or GOP, she'd be calling out the names right now. It's disgusting what's going on in Washington. It's disgusting what's going on in society nowadays where we're picking sides. Democrat, conservative, liberal, right wing on sexual assault. And it's fucking disgusting.